Hello. Today we are going to do a lesson number one of grammar. Okay. And the name of the lesson is the English alphabet. Okay. What is the name of the lesson? The name of the lesson is the English alphabet. And in this we are going to cover capital, small, um, alphabetical order and the letter to the word. Okay. So here we go. Come on, let's see. This is your capital letter, right? This is your capital letter. See, this is capital A, capital B, capital C, capital D, capital E, capital F, capital G, capital H, capital I, capital J, capital K, capital L, capital M, capital N, capital O, capital P, capital Q, capital R, capital S, capital T, capital U, capital V, capital W, capital X, capital Y and capital Z. Very good. Now, we will see a small letter. Okay. This is your capital letter and this is your small letter. So, this is small a, small b, small c, small d, small e, small f, small g, small h, small i, small j, small k, small l, small m, small n, small o, small p, small q, small r, small s, small t, small u, small v, small w, small x, small y and small z. Yes. And now we are going to do our exercise. So what is the name of our exercise? It, you have to do this letter in alphabetical order. Okay. First we will read the exercise name. Write all the capital letters of the English alphabet in alphabetical order. Okay. In alphabetical order. You will put. Now you will tell me ma'am how to put this A in alphabetical order. It's not so hard. Okay. So today I will teach you how to put this A in alphabetical. Okay. This is A. What comes after A? B. After B? C. After C? D. Yes. So, this is your alphabetical order. Got it? Now, we will see G. How we will put G in alphabetical order? G, H, I, G. Okay. Now, M, capital M, capital O, and capital P. Even you have to see whether the letters are in alphabetical or in small letters. Okay. So these are capitals. So we will write the capitals only in alphabetical order. So we have written capital M and capital O and capital P. So this is capital T. U. V. And W, capital T, capital U, capital V and capital W. Now we will see a small letters, okay. So here we have a small letters, okay. And this small letter you will put in alphabetical order. So here we have a small a, small b small c and a small d small g small h small i and a small j small h 
I, J, K, T, U, V, W. Okay. Now, the next question is you have to put each set of letter. These are the set of letters. Okay. Each set of letters in alphabetical order. See, they, this letter are not in sequence. So, you will put it in the sequence. Like, first letter is G O A M. Is it in sequence? No. So, the first letter will come A. Then G. Then M. Then O. Right? Now, the second one is E, B, R, E. So, if you want to put in sequence, the first letter will come B, then P, then R, then T. Now, the third one. The third one is U, N, C, L. So, first C, then L, then N, and then U. The fourth one is B, O, N, K. And the first word will come D, then K, then N, then O. Okay. Now, we will learn what is a word. We are saying now, this thing is word. This is called as word. But what is word? Word is a meaningful arrangement of a letter. Okay, a meaningful arrangement is done of a letter and that is called as word. For example, if the letters are A, B, T, any meaning is there? No, no meaning is there. It's just a letter. But if we want to convert this letter in word, so we can write B, A, T, bat. Okay, now see the next one. A, F, N. What is A, F, N? Nothing. But if you want to make this word in meaningful, so how we will write? F, A, N, F, N. Okay, if you will see the page number 8 of your English grammar, many Words are arranged here and you have to write a meaningful word. Okay, and this is your homework. So, enjoy your homework. Bye-bye. Take care.